This is a three-minute message brought to you by Redemption Church, Delray Beach. My name is Pastor Daniel Williams, and I'm excited to be studying the Gospel of Mark with you. The Gospel. It means good news. It's the good news of the person of Jesus Christ and the account of His life. And the Bible actually gives us four different accounts of Jesus' life and calls them the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But they all have a little different bent and a little different angle to his life. For example, Matthew gives more of a prophetic bent and a prophetic angle of Old Testament scripture and how Jesus fulfills that. Luke was actually more of giving an eyewitness account and gives a lot more detail as his critical eye of a doctor and giving attention to the small things. Whereas John, the Gospel of John, has more red letters in it than any other Gospels, more of Jesus' teachings, and really focuses on the deity of Christ. Well, Mark focuses on action. It's full of what Jesus does and talks really about the humanity of Jesus. Jesus calls himself in the Gospel of Mark, Son of Man, more than any other Gospel. And this is a messianic title found all throughout the Old Testament, especially in the book of Daniel, that that Jesus wanted people to know he was the Messiah. So he called himself the Son of Man. And Mark describes this account of Jesus, the beginning of the gospel, not at his birth, but at his baptism. Now, baptism is an inward sign of who you are and what God has done in your heart. Your identity is a child of God. Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says, We are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. And when we turn to Jesus, He makes us spiritually alive by His grace. And we're told as believers to get baptized, to let people know that we've been forgiven, but also that we have a new identity, that we're new creations. Now, although Jesus had no sin, He was perfect. He did want people to know that he was following God the Father. And so he got baptized because he wanted people to know who his identity was. In another gospel, it tells us that John the Baptist, he was baptizing and waiting for the Messiah for a sign that when he baptized someone, there would be this supernatural sign that God would reveal who the Messiah was. And we see this sign in verses 10 through 11. It says in verse 10 that the Spirit of God, the Spirit descended on Jesus like a dove. And then the father cried out with his voice, Beloved, you are my beloved son, and whom I am well pleased. See, in the baptism of Jesus, we see who God is, who Jesus is, that he's God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, a picture of the Trinity. This is who Jesus is. He is God. And I love how Mark describes this as the very first thing of who Jesus is. Because he wanted us to know who our identity is, that we can go to God for that. See, most people, they go to what they do for their identity. They go off of what they do and what people think about them and and, and really prove themselves to get value. But God loves us despite of what we do. It's not what we do for God. It's who we are in God. See, Jesus, before he did anything, any miracles or those things, God was pleased in him. Because our God is a God of love. And so we don't have to do things to earn favor. We do things from favor. We love because He first loved us. And so Mark gives us this good news of Jesus and the baptism. He says this is who Jesus is. You can trust Him, believer. He is God. He is Savior. He is the Messiah. And the Father is well pleased in Him.